The prophecy of Daniel 70 weeks according to Daniel 9 verse 24. Seventy sevens are decreed for your people and your holy city to finish the transgression, to put an end to sin, to atone for wickedness, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy place. According to 924, 77 have been decreed. The latter of these two terms, here translated as sevens, literally means a unit of seven things, hence, a week. The question, however, is, a unit of seven what? Days? Weeks? Hours? Months? Years? Most commentators of the dispensational school conclude that Gabriel had in mind units of years. Consequently, 70 of these units of 7 years would equal 490 years. Although commentators refer to this period as Daniel's 70 weeks, the period of time in view is one of 490 years. The angel Gabriel approaches Daniel in the latter half of the ninth chapter after Daniel prays for Israel. Gabriel mentions the seventy sevens will take place before God will put an end to sin and bring everlasting righteousness. Daniel 9 verse 24. The prophecy divides up these 490 years in a handful of ways. 49 years, 7 by 7 the time it takes to rebuild Jerusalem since the time the Babylonians had destroyed it. Daniel 9 verse 25, which occurs in the book of Nehemiah. 434 years, 62 by 7 a time designated for waiting for the anointed one to come. Daniel 9 verse 26. The anointed one appears to mean Jesus, here. After those 434 years, they put the anointed one to death and destroy the city. The first half of this alludes to Jesus' death on the cross. The Romans destroyed Jerusalem in 70 AD, including the temple which had been rebuilt in Nehemiah. The last year, one by seven usually referred to the tribulation period which transpires in Revelation, when the Antichrist comes, persecutes Christians, and Jesus returns for his second coming. Theologians dispute whether this has already taken place or whether we have yet to see its fulfillment, as we wait in the 69 to 70 year gap. This article assumes we have not yet reached the 70th week. There's a gap between the first 483 years, which comes in two sections, 7 times 7 is equal to 49 years, 62 times 7 is equal to 434 years, that's a 483 year period. This period has already been fulfilled. We're living in the church age. One nation and one language will be in progress and the sign of the Antichrist is fulfilling in 2024. There is one more seven-year period known as the tribulation that has to be fulfilled. This gap between the first 69 weeks and the 70th week is called the church age. It's a parenthesis that has now lasted almost 2,000 years. We call it the rapture, and I have it listed there for you at the end of the church age taken from 1 Thessalonians 4. 2. When do the 70 weeks of Daniel begin? According to 925 the 70 weeks, i.e., the 490 year period, begin with the issuing of a decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. Dispensationalists have opted for either one of two dates for this decree, one, the seventh year of Artaxerxes in 458 to 57 BC, Ezra. 7 colon 11-26, or 2, 
The 20th year of Artaxerxes in 445 to 44 BC, Nehemiah 2 verses 1 to 8. The latter of these two dates is preferred by most dispensationalists, and for two reasons. First, this decree pertains to the rebuilding of the city in accordance with Dan 9.25. Second, v. 25 also indicates that between the decree and the coming of Messiah 69 of the 70 weeks transpire. In other words, 483 years, or 173,880 days, on the questionable assumption that a year equals 360 days, from the decree brings us to Jesus Christ. If one begins with the 1st of Nisan, March 14th, 445 BC, and counts off 173,880 days, taking into account years that have an extra day due to leap year, one arrives at April 6, 32 AD, the occasion of Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem. If one chooses to begin the count in 444 BC instead of 445, the 69th week terminates on March 30, 33 AD. 3. What is the goal or purpose of the 70 weeks? The goal of Daniel's 70 weeks is stated in the sixfold declaration of verse 24. Without going into detail at this time, suffice it to say that most dispensationalists insist that some, if not all, of these goals will only be achieved at the second advent of Jesus at the end of the age, perhaps not even until the end of the millennium. For this reason they insist that the 70th week is yet future. 4. When exactly will the 70th week begin? The dispensationalist says that, according to verse 26, two events will occur after the 69th week but before the 70th. In other words, these two events will occur in the gap between the 69th and 70th weeks. These two events are, first, the cutting off of Messiah, the crucifixion, and second, the destruction of Jerusalem and its temple in 70 AD. When, then, is the 70th week to occur? Only at the end of the present age when Christ returns to consummate the six-fold purpose outlined in V. 24. This 70th week, the so-called Great Tribulation, says the dispensationalist, is described in V. 27. Daniel gives a number of clues as to what will happen during that tribulation period of seven years. 1. Wars will take place, Daniel 9 verse 26. 2. The Antichrist will come and make a covenant with the Jewish people. He has a description here. 3. The Antichrist, known as the Abomination of Desolation in Daniel will put an end to sacrifices and offerings in the temple asterisk. 4. Jesus returns sometime before or after the 70th week. Theologians have not reached a consensus as to when. Asterisk some theologians have attributed the title of the abomination of desolation to Antiochus Epiphanes for who entered the temple, stopped sacrifices, and put an altar to Zeus in the temple, an abomination in Jewish culture. 5. Who is the coming prince of verse 26 and the one who makes the covenant in verse 27? Both the prince who is to come in v. 26 and he who, in verse 27, makes a covenant with the many for one week refer to the final, personal Antichrist. This one week or seven year covenant will entail the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem and the reinstitution and observance of sacrificial offerings. After three and a half years, in the middle of the week 
Antichrist will break the covenant, persecute the people of God, Israel, only to be destroyed by the return of Christ Jesus at the close of the seven-year tribulation period, i.e., at the close of the 70th week. 6. On what basis does the dispensationalist posit a gap between the 69th and 70th weeks of Daniel 9? It is absolutely fundamental to the dispensational interpretation that there be a gap or interval or historical parenthesis between the 69th and 70th weeks. Thus far in history this gap has spanned some 1,950 years. On what basis do dispensationalists justify this remarkable length of time? The arguments of Alva McLean are here taken as representative. A. If one interprets the text as presenting the events in strict chronological and historical sequence, a gap is implied. First, in verse 25, there is a period of 69 weeks ending with the appearance of Messiah. Then, after these 69 weeks two other events occur, the death of Messiah and the destruction of the city. Finally, in verse 27, and after the events of verse 26, the final or 70th week occurs. Since two of the prophesied events occur after the 69th week but before the 70th week, a gap is implied. b. The events of verse 24 were not fulfilled at Christ's first coming, nor have they been fulfilled at any time in history since his appearance. Therefore, the 70th week, in which time they will be fulfilled, must be future. C. An unseen gap in prophetic time is not unusual in the OT. C. For example, Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 2 and Luke 4 verses 16 to 21. D. Jesus himself declared that the 70th week of Daniel is still future. See Matthew 24 verse 15. According to the conclusions reached above, the first half of Daniel's 70th week runs from the baptism of Jesus to 70 AD. The destruction of Jerusalem and its temple in 70 AD is the middle of the week, and the present church age is its latter half. When we survey the fulfillment of Gabriel's prophecy from our vantage point, it appears that the last half of the 70th week is the age of the community of the New Covenant, disengaged from the Old Covenant order with whose closing days its own beginnings overlapped for a generation. In the imagery of the NT Apocalypse, the last half week is the age of the Church in the wilderness of the nations for a time, and times, and half a time, Revelation 12 verse 14. Since the 70 weeks are 10 jubilee eras that issue in the last jubilee, the 70th week closes with the angelic trumpeting of the earth's redemption and the glorious liberty of the children of God. The acceptable year of the Lord which came with Christ will then have fully come. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share and comment for more videos updating and revealing the prophecies of Bible. And subscribe to encourage us to strengthen the people by the spirit of truth. God bless you.